All right, this is our second day of percentages. They're going to get uh, slightly more challenging. But if we use that same strategy from yesterday and always break them down, um, what we're given, back to 1%, out to what we want, then uh, we will always be successful. Mm -hmm. So first example, a radio is bought for $16 and sold for 20 What is the percentage profit? Okay. It's a profit. It's $4. Mm -hmm. And to find the percent profit, we always take the profit and divide it by the original. What do we start with? Original. We started with 16. Okay. So 4 out of 16. Mm -hmm. And that reduces to 1 quarter. This is a nice one for a non-calculator because 1 quarter we know is 25%. All right. In number two, we have a car sold for $2,280. Now, read carefully, add a loss of 5% on the cost price. Find the cost price. So what does that tell us? It tells us that 2,280 is 95%. Okay, so the, the loss of 5% tells us that 95% was 2,280. We want the original, so we always back up to find 1%. This Definitely be given a calculator for numbers like this, eh? This is pretty nasty without. All right, so 1% is 24. And then we go to the original cost price, which is 100%. And that one, easy enough, 2,400. Okay, so think about what you know. Go back to 1% and out to what you need. Example three, you won 10 euros in a raffle. There are two ways you can collect the money. Which is the best deal and why? Nice command term here from the IB. A justify your conclusion, so provide some evidence. So we can either increase the 10 euros by 5% and then decrease it by 5, or decrease it by 50 and then increase it by 50. This is a nice problem. Let's get going. So 100% is 10. Then you increase it by 5, so we go back to 1, and that would be 0 0.1. Mm -hmm. Increase by 5, so you get to 105. 105% is 1, oh, or sorry, 1050, yes, of course. <laughs> That'd be a pretty bad deal. Yeah. All right, so 1050. Now we're going to subsequently decrease this by 5%. So what's interesting here? Now our 100% is 10.5. Mm-hmm. And back to 1%. And then decrease by 5%. Okay, and again, calculate it for this one. To give us 9.975. Okay, so... Not the best. We ended up with a little less than, uh, than we started. Let's see what happens in the next one. So let's circle that. Perfect. That's what we end up with. Now let's take it and decrease it by 50%. That's almost easy just to write it down, eh? Right. So if 100% is 10, then 50% is... It's 5. 5, yeah. I think that's fair. Subsequently, we're going to increase that by 50%. So right now, the 100% is 5. Um, you're going to increase by 50%. Should we go back to 1? 1%, 1 mm -hmm. is 5. Good, and then 150%. Because here's our increase. Gives us 750. So it was definitely an easy, a better deal to increase and then decrease by a smaller amount. One more. All right, so the uh, Wildcats team record is 20 wins and 25 losses. To qualify for the playoffs, the team must win 60% of its games. So far, they've played 45 games. All right, there are 15 games remaining in the season. Can the team qualify for the playoffs? And if yes, how many of their remaining games do they need to win? 
they've played 45 games so far, and there are 15 more games, so there are 60 games total. Okay. 100%. 60. Mm-hmm. And 1% would be 0.6. Good. And 60% is 36. Uh-oh. What's the problem? 36 is the number of games they need to uh, qualify for the playoffs. But even if they win all 15 of their remaining games, they won't make 36 wins. Okay. So since the, 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 they like to have justification marks awarded, then I would write a short sentence, something to the effect of, since 36 is greater than 35... The team can't qualify. Some some kind of sentence to sum it up. Too bad this year, eh? Mm -hmm. More than... Uh, 35? Yeah. 13 can't qualify. Good. So... Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, be sure to come and see us and uh, ask in class for any clarifications. See you there. Bye.